Hello, Billy Turnbow here with Cisco Tech. Today, I want to show you how to add a Presence subscriber node to your existing Presence cluster. I have here a Communications Manager 12.5.1 Lab with one Presence node. I have a Presence subscriber node that has just been installed, but it is currently not added to the Presence subcluster. Before I do that, I want to show you a few things that should be done before adding my subscriber to the subcluster. Let's first take a look at the configuration from the Communications Manager server list page. We can see that the subscriber node is already part of the server list. But let's go to the Presence Redundancy Group page from the same menu. Here we see that the Presence Publisher is the only node in the redundancy group. From an SSH command line, we are able to successfully connect to the subscriber. Now let's proceed through the steps to fully activate and add this Presence Subscriber node to the cluster. First check the basic diagnostics with Util's Diagnose Test. We should expect that all tests pass, especially network-related and NTP tests. If you see any failures, you can search for them on the internet. This particular Tomcat failure in my 12.5.1 lab is a known cosmetic defect, so I will ignore it. Next, type util service list to make sure that your node has started key services and shows it is successfully integrated to the Communications Manager cluster. The feature services are mostly at the bottom and will show service not activated, but the services we want to make sure are started would be the Cisco DB and Cisco DB replicator. We also want to see any database services and web services to show started. Now I want to run show network cluster. This will show that the subscriber node is part of the cluster and authenticated. If we see anything else, then the subscriber is not successfully connected to the other nodes. Lastly, we want to make sure the present subscriber has completed DB replication with the presence publisher with the command utils db replication runtime state. Depending on how much time has passed since the subscriber node was first installed, this may still be in process. If it is not completed, check back after we activate services. With the checks done here, we'll open the subscriber node's web interface. You will probably see some notifications, but this is expected for a first-time initialization. We'll proceed to the service ability page from the navigation menu. Then we'll go to the tools and service activation page for the subscriber. Here, we should only check the features that are needed, and this should match the Presence Publisher. A basic configuration will only have a few of the services activated. Save this configuration, and then we can go back to the command line interface to check the progress. However, note that if DB replication is still in progress, these services may stay in starting state until replication is complete. Once all services are started, the subscriber is ready to be added to the cluster. For this step, go back to the Communications Manager and to the Presence Redundancy Group. From the Presence Publisher topology page, we can see the subscriber is listed as an available node that is not part of the subcluster. We can now add the subscriber to the list. However, Please note that this will cause critical services on both the Presence Publisher and Subscriber to restart, which will impact Jabber users. It should be done when several minutes of downtime is acceptable. Add the Subscriber to the Presence Redundancy Group configuration and save the page. You'll notice immediately that the Presence topology shows the Subscriber in the subcluster. And you can see services on both nodes are restarting for the configuration change. It's normal to show several services stop and restart and restart again during this process. Give this some time and eventually it will show the services are all started. The subscriber is now part of the subcluster and high availability can be enabled for the presence redundancy. Please refer to the TAC videos page for further assistance on any of the steps performed in this video. 
Thanks for watching.